So now, one thing that we need to do, the first thing is we need to open the Teams application. And then once you have the Teams application open, like the one I'm projecting on my screen, you go down on your left pen here to the Teams part. I'm clicking Teams. So you can see already I have a group of Teams created here. So just to be sure, create a new team. All right. Create a new team. There you are. Then come here and click create a team. You're not joining any team. You're creating one. So I'll click that. I'll pick the class group. Good. So the, the, you can name a team after the unit that you are facilitating. So an example is uh, greening in Tibet. Okay, you come here, click next. And uh, okay, you can skip the part of adding students or teachers. There you are. All right. So the first part is done. We have already created a team in our Microsoft Teams application. So the next thing I'm going to do is schedule a session. Schedule a session. How do you schedule for a session? Easy. I'll just come here next to the meet button. And then I point on the drop down menu on schedule a meeting. When I click schedule a meeting, I'll be presented with a screen that will allow me to schedule a meeting. So I can give a title to my meeting and say, um, uh, what is it? Uh, not really. Let me just call it MS Teams Live Session. Sorry. Great. Then I can come here, specify the time. You can see it is reading today's date, but you can always use this link recurringly. So let me leave this at that. Uh, this is about like 30 minutes from 12.30 to 1. I can add there. I can say maybe to 2 p.m. That's one hour, 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, so now... Uh, this is okay. It will, it will just repeat automatically. So now, I'll, the, the next thing for me to do is click the send button here. After clicking send, already you can see that the meeting is scheduled. You're seeing it here. Now I will need to get a link to the meeting. So getting a, me a link to this meeting, I'll click on, on the three buttons here and say link to channel. Or alternatively, I can click on the meeting that I've scheduled. And up here, there's a button to copy link. You can see this link here, copy link. So if I say copy link, it, it has already copied the link to the clipboard. So my first part is done. So what I need to do is now take this link and copy it on the LMS, Moodle Learning Management System. Okay, so let me go to the Moodle platform. So I'll open the LMS. Yes, here it is. Uh, let me use this account. So I have access now. So let me go to the course uh, managers and go search for the course. Okay, here is the course. So, great. So let's say mine is greening. Uh, okay, mine is greening, so I'll click on the greening part. I need to make sure that I have turned editing on first. So I turn editing on like that. So now I'll go to my unit, which is greening in Tivet. Then I add an activity or resource. So in this case, I click on that link and I will add a resource. So click resources there and then add the URL. Remember, we already had copied our link. So I'm going to name the link MS Teams uh, Live Session. 
So copy the link there, the one that we had already copied from Microsoft Teams. And that is basically it. Just come down here, save and return to course. Good. So that is how you do it. So when I return to course, where is greening? Okay, so this is your link here. So to go and uh, open the meeting now, you realize that as you open it, it gives you the uh, organizer right. So it says join. So you can click joining. No, sorry, not this one. Yeah, this is the one. So join. Correct. So it takes me directly to the meeting. Here I am. Join. Correct. I am the only person in the room. But now I want you to see that I'm the organizer here. So if you look at the menus available here, you can see even the rooms, the breakout rooms is there now. And even I have an extra drop down button near the leaf button to indicate that I'm the organizer and I can also end the meeting at my uh, choice. Muting microphone, sharing your screen is all here. The way we've been doing you, the reactions and chats and people. So number one, if you want to do the breakout rooms, click on the breakout room, then you can decide how many rooms you want, depending on the number of participants you have. So I can say maybe I want 10 rooms. And then I will tell teams to automatically do that, to automatically assign. I don't have to manually go in, uh, assign people to the rooms. It will be a lot of time. So just say create uh, rooms. And it is highly advisable that you do this once the participants have entered the room so that you can determine beforehand how many participants or how many rooms you are going to create so that you don't create rooms that don't have people. Okay. Then you need to time your rooms. You need to time them. Click on the little set, uh, setting button here so that you can add the uh, time limit. So I'll put this one on. You can have your time limited in hours or in minutes. And I'm, I'm sure we would prefer doing the minutes. So you can do maybe 10 minutes, okay, for every room. And then after which the 10 minutes are done, the rooms will automatically close and the participants will go back, will come back to the main room where you can do some feedback and, you know, analyze what has been happening. Now, before we finish, I'd like us to know how to set the status about removing the uh, removing the issue of participants staying in the lobby so that you don't have to be admitting every time they are coming in. For you to do that, come to people here, the people show participants here. Uh, then on your right side, the three buttons here will get you there. Click select the management uh, manage permissions so this is where now you are going to set that you come here instead of people in my organization just say everyone so that everyone will come in everybody who can access the lms they can click the link and get into the meeting without you admitting them and then the second option we will need to consider is who can present so right now it's everyone can present the right to present come with variety of privileges. Among them, you can mute everyone, you can expel anybody from a meeting. So ideally, instead of having everyone to be a presenter, you can change and have uh, people in my organization. All right, so anyone with a, at KTTC account, uh, they can be able to come in your meeting and become a presenter, but any other person will be in as an attendee. So you can check if you want to have microphones on so that your participants can be able to react and give you feedback you say yes it is by default yes cameras is also something you need to consider if you want the cameras to be muted or to be on so depending on how the usage if you feel at some point your participants are misusing their videos you can always come back to the permission and mute all the videos at once so that is how you do and then you click on save so with that, you have set the permissions for your teams and you are now set to go without any problem.